So, do you want to know how to get started with the tech tech? Don't worry, cause we're gonna get started. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to sign up to leave it free. Now, tech tech is a free application to work. Um, if you want to have your task manager to product management, social media stuff, and much more project. So what you want to do after you click down below, you want to create your account. If you want to use a Google account, Microsoft account, or just provide an email in order to continue, it's going to be just really, really easy to get started. Now in here, as you can see, we do have different tools. For example, we have the inbox. I'm going to skip this part. We have list, we do have text, the filters and this part which is actually the calendar view now speaking about the tasks for me it's going to be really really easy to add different tools for example uh this has to be the welcome to tick tick this is something that if you read that when you hit into the loop completed and this one is going to be sent it into the completed part now what can you do with tick tick add tasks and reminders set flexible repeating intervals subscribe to party calendars, use folder list, make checked items, and collaborate on your list with your family, friends, and colleagues. And plus mark. Really, really easy to do that, right? So how can I implement this, um, my actual project management, my actual projects uh, as a student, as an employee, as a CEO of whatever company into TikTok? So um to get started what i want to do is to focus the very first part of today where you can see the calendar view so the calendar view is going to be helping us a lot to have like a really quick view of what we need to do each day now i'm going to hit into the x mark and there we go so this is a sample that's how it's going to be looking our actual calendar so you can see this into a daily weekly monthly you can add and customize much more stuff into TechTech. So, and you can even change the colors if you wanted to. I think it's going to be really, really useful for those who want to work uh, with calendar views. So if you want to take the usage of that, you want to upgrade you with a premium only account. And I'm going to hit into the update now. And let's say that I want to focus into just one year and I have to pay $27 per year i think it's really really a low price so here into paypal the stripes in order for making the payment and then you're good to go now i'm going to go back here which says applications here into applications what you can do is to use the uh, tech text with more than just one app so here let's say for example that i have my apple watch i have a macbook i have a linux i have my windows and another phone and i can implement all my stuff all my features into more than just one uh, device. So what I want to do now uh, is to go into the very first part of my account. I'm going to go into my tick tick. There we go. And here once we've focused into the top part, like this. Here is my syncs, settings, statics, premium account, and the sign up. So if I go into the very first option of the inbox, I want to go in here. I want to go into the today. And here I want to select the option that appears in here into the ask tasked to inbox on today. So here it is. Now, speaking about the priority, uh, you want to choose that depending on the type of priority, let's say to add from template. And here have some tasked template to do before work, daily record, things to back for traveling. I can get into the manage templates and I can see much more as I use more and more templates. And after that, hit into OK. Now, in my case, I'm going to click into Done. I'm going to hit here once again into the plus button. I'm going to hit into the Add from Template. And I'm going to hit into the To Do's Before it Work. So this is just a small template kind of helping me to customize my own stuff. So To Do List Before it Work. Let's say To Do List. Uh, let's say January. January. Uh, week three and reflection on yesterday to do list I want to just copy or delete one depending on what I'm looking for and if you want to you can change the type of priority or if you want to do something first let's say take a five minute break get ready for the day Boop. move that into the second part like this have some water and a cup of coffee leave this into this part like this and there we go. If I don't want to see this, I'm going to hit into the delete section. 
or I can even set up a alarmed if I wanted to. Now this is a premium course reminder checklist that you of course need to uh, implement into your premium account but you have to uh, worry about that because you're going to be getting a few rewards if you sign up with the link down below. Now, these are different ways that I can sort my elements. For example, I want to show a countdown. I want to show some details. I want to print this. So I want to focus a lot in here. I actually want to delete one, two, three, four elements and leave those like this. Uh, I'm going to hit this into the today. Now into the next seven days, I want to add something else based on a template that I see here. For example, the daily record going to hit into the things to back the travel. There we go. Here it is. And what I want to do is to have or add a priority of this one. And here's going to be appearing into Jello. This is the level of my priority. And the date I'm going to hit into today. Here's today. Now, lastly, here you have the list. We have the tax and we have the filters. So what I can do is to choose add tax. And here I'll say I want to choose travel. And here into color, I'm going to choose this option, parent tax, and here into save. Now you have an idea where to organize tasks, add them here. So what I want to do is to click into the input here, like this, add to inbox. And here, what I want to do is to go back into my things to travel like this. There we go. So you can either add a subtask or add detect, for example, travel and hit into OK. Now, if I go back into just uh, the tag section, I have my travel stuff. I have, let's say, workspace. I have just a project hit into the travel. And here are all my stuff uh, already been added. Really, really easy to use that, right? So lastly, guys, I want to add a subtext to, to end the very fast, really, really easy video. So we're going to into add subtask and here into things to pack for traveling. Let's say do not forget to call your grandpa like that and get into the answer mark and you can add something more if you wanted to. Now, since this is a subtask, uh, this one depends on the, the, the previous one. So if I delete this one, of course, by default, it's going to be deleted right away. And lastly, guys, I can even change the priority if I want to do and take a look into this square color. So really, really easy to use that, right? So if I hit into the plus mark, by default, it's going to be sent it into the completed mode. So I don't have to be focusing a lot into what did I did well, what did I don't did well. And it's going to be appearing into the green code, into the gray color, I mean and we don't have to do anything else. So as you can see, it's a really easy application to use, a web app if you want to use this on a phone. I think it's gonna be much more easier to use this into your Android device or Apple device. So with that being said, we've reached into the very, very bend, uh, end of the video. So we all uh, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools of the actual tech tech. Thank you once again, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.